Parkinson's disease is the second most common disorder in the U.S. behind Alzheimer's. Most are diagnosed after they turn 60, and currently there is no straightforward test to pinpoint the disease. Right now, I'm actually joined by Dr. Kumar. Thank you so much for joining us. We have something that's available right here in Colorado. Talk to me about the skin test. Exactly what is it? Well, the skin test is a very simple test where you take a tiny piece of skin, about an eighth of an inch from three sites, one in the back of the neck and two from the back of the leg. And then we look for deposition of a little protein in the nerve fibers in the skin. This protein is called alpha-synuclein, and it's also deposited in the brain. And when it spreads in the brain, it's thought to cause Parkinson's disease and other associated disorders like dementia with Lewy bodies. This test is very easy, mm -hmm. very well tolerated by patients. It takes about 20 minutes. Oh. We just put a little Band-Aid on the spots. It doesn't even need a stitch. Wow. And we get the results back in a couple of weeks, and it can really help in making the diagnosis when we're uncertain about the diagnosis or even differentiating between different causes of similar symptoms. So it can lead to patients being diagnosed earlier and treated earlier, which is great for patients. Also, we don't have any treatments which have been shown to cure or slow the progression. So this is gonna really help us with research mm -hmm. to develop new treatments for Parkinson's disease. So I'm sure you've already had patients and you've already done this skin test. How has this been helping them? What do they feel? Kind of walk me through their experience. Well, I think they feel like this gives them more reassurance because if you're just relying on me telling you got Parkinson based mm -hmm. on your symptoms, that is, we know that there's a misdiagnosis rate. So it gives us and the patient more certainty, more confidence to go forward, and as a result, less anxiety. Also, it makes it, them committed to their underlying treatment because there's a lot patients can do for themselves with Parkinson's disease too. So I'm guessing this has been a game changer for you guys, right? I mean, it's one of a kind and it's, it's available here in Colorado. It's very helpful. And now we were part of a recent research study that we did with individuals throughout the United States. And now it's available nationally and patients can easily access this and learn about it too. And you were talking that it's very easy for the patients when they get this skin test. How long? You said it takes 20 minutes, but kind of walk me through as soon as they walk into the office, what it's like for them for doing the skin test. Okay, so if they've seen their doctor and they want to do the skin test, they'll usually come back on a separate day. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we take a tiny little, um, it's almost like um, a round punch uh, that you might use in carpentry. And we punch out a tiny piece of skin, about an eighth of an inch on each of the three sites I mentioned. Usually we just hold some pressure and we put a Band-Aid. It hurts minimally. We put a little bit of freezing in so it doesn't really hurt at all. The, he heals up in a couple of days. Oh, wow. Piece of cake. So what if someone is interested in learning more about this skin test? What can they do and how can they join if they want to be part of it? Yeah. So you can Google SYN1 test, that's S-Y-N-O-N-E test. You can also visit your local neurologist. You can also see a movement disorder specialist. So you could, for example, visit our website, movementdisorderscenter.org or Rocky Mountain Movement Disorder Center to have a thorough evaluation. So how effective has this test been for you guys? I know you said it's a game changer. It's been quick and easy for patients. But how effective do you think it will be also in the future when technology, I'm sure, improves that as well? Well, I think it's going to allow us to even better differentiate between different order, disorders. Mm -hmm. For example, some patients have memory and thinking trouble, but they also have a bit of Parkinsonism. So does this patient have Alzheimer's disease and they're just slow and older? Or do they have a disorder called dementia with Lewy bodies, mm -hmm. which is where Parkinson is affecting the surface and memory and thinking is the brain uh, really early on. So that's going to lead to very much tr better treatments because we can figure out these things earlier on and we can develop better treatments too for patients because of this. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. Let's